Hi friends, today I shall be sharing with you some simple breathing uh, chanting techniques that will help you achieve a nice calm state of mind no matter what situation you are in. Right now you must be feeling extremely stressed out with a lot of housework, a lot of unplanned uh, things coming your way, uh, a lot of unexpected situations coming your way, uh, an onslaught of news, it's too many things to digest, what to do with the kids, what to do with the elderly people, what to do with yourself, how to get groceries. Too many things we had taken for granted in our daily life now suddenly have become, you know, uh, challenges that we have to think through. So uh, what do we do with our own mind amidst all this? You know, it tends to get extremely stressed and you have to accept that it is extremely normal as well. So um, just like we take a bath for our body every day, we also need a bath for our mind so that it can be refreshed and uh, it can be ready to meet the challenges every single day in a better way. Okay, these techniques are extremely simple. They are all Hatha Yoga practices and uh, they will help you relax and help you calm down and uh, face your day in a much better way. Okay. The first thing, of course, is right breathing in yoga. That is uh, the most basic thing. So what? how do we do right breathing? It's very simple. Imagine your whole body like a big balloon. Okay, a small balloon. So what you have to do is when you inhale the air through your nose, you expand your diaphragm. That is, your diaphragm is this muscle between the chest and the abdomen. So technically, you push your abdomen out when you inhale. And when you exhale, pull it back in. All right. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, very good. We did it about five times today. You can start with five and you can slowly increase the count to 10 and even up to 20 if you have the patience. Otherwise, five is more than sufficient because you know we all have a lack of time in our lives right now. Okay, and then after this breathing, one thing I need to uh, correct is most people tend to breathe the other way. They tend to, uh, you know, while they inhale, their stomach t turn, tends to go in and when they exhale, the tummy tends to come out. That is very, very wrong and it can lead to a lot of uh, pranic and energetic dis uh, disturbances within your system. It can even cause a lot of digestive troubles. Okay, so this needs to be corrected. And uh, after that, we do some Omkara chanting. Inhale and exhale. How to do that? I'll tell you. When you inhale, inhale nice and deep, tummy out. And when you release the air through your nose, you also make the sound OM. Okay, inhale deeply. OM. That's how you do it. 
okay and always remember when you take out the sound om it has to come from deep within your belly it, it is not a superficial sound you really feel the sound coming above you know your tummy so that is when your sound becomes sonorous and uh, um, you also feel very different okay the sound is not loud it is deep all right so um just five times when you do deep breathing followed by chanting of omkara just that much is enough to help you disconnect from whatever chaos is happening from around you this is something that we teach patients in sukino day in and day out and they have um, even though they are extremely old very fragile have a ton of health problems they are nowhere near the healthy uh, young people that we usually interact with even them uh they uh, even then they have benefited so much uh, while doing this prolonged practice of yoga and even something as simple as this has benefited them immensely it's, you know in a period of time it uh, improves your digestion it removes all uh, the anxiety related uh, disturbances uh, within your physical body it also leads to much better quality of sleep and uh, in general you wake up much better much fresher and uh, people who make it a habit to do even this simple practice every day before going to sleep switch off all your you know gadgets mobile phones laptops tv you know it is not uh, i don't find it practical anymore to tell people like don't watch tv uh, at least for one hour before you uh, you know go to bed because that just doesn't happen these days so at least do this once you switch off all the gadgets switch off your mind go to bed put on uh, put the blanket on switch on the switch off the lights you know make sure everybody else is you know out of your uh, you know uh, they don't disturb you you know and then after that chant omkara and chant do your breathing do this as many uh, times as you want you know five times deep breathing five times omkara and then again till you feel you are you know you, your body will tell you your mind will tell you till you feel you are completely disconnected with whatever happened before this then you go to sleep you will sleep and you will sleep in peace okay and you will wake up much better the quality of your sleep even if you sleep for a lesser amount of time the quality of your sleep will be much better all right so i'm signing off today tomorrow we'll be back with another video where i will be taking a proper session where uh, you just have to follow my instructions and you can do this in your home itself okay today i just taught you how to do deep breathing and how to do om chanting tomorrow we will be doing the actual session and uh, then slowly we'll take it from there and build on adding more and more practices stay tuned